Hello Mindful Foodies, Inga from Health Origins here. So today I'm going to show you how to make a different salad. So this is a seaweed salad. So let's begin. We'll start by rehydrating our seaweed. So this is um, dried seaweed, which is, I believe it's wakame. So it's the stuff that's used to make nori sheets for your sushi. So um, I've probably got about half a packet, so about 10 grams left. Um, you could do 25 grams or even 50 grams, depending how much salad obviously you're doing. Um, but I'm gonna try it. I think it's actually, you either can um, chop it with your scissors. I think I'm gonna do it while it's dry, just cut it up with my scissors, or you could also cut it, you know, um, cut it up afterwards once it's rehydrated but I'm just gonna cut it into smaller pieces with my scissors now so now I've got my seaweed uh, ready I'm gonna pour some cold filtered water on this so just enough to cover and this now will rehydrate for 20 minutes so in the meantime, while we wait for the seaweed to rehydrate, I'm gonna be making our sauce. So I need a tablespoon of miso paste, or a little bit less, about a tablespoon. Add it in here. A tablespoon of mirin, if you have, um, but I don't have it, so I'm gonna add some maple syrup. Then we need two tablespoons of soy sauce. Then ideally you want a teaspoon of tahini, but I don't have any tahini. Um, so I'm gonna add a teaspoon of um, almond butter. And then you can, it's up to you, but you can add a little bit of um, chili flakes. So I'm gonna add just a tad bit because we are not massive fan of heat so just like a little tiny sprinkling as you can see but you can add more if you like it so i'm going to try and mix this up we might need to add a little bit of water because it might be just a little bit too thick as you can see it is you know more of a paste rather than a sauce so i'm gonna just add a couple of tablespoons of water here so you could add the uh, water from actually soaking seaweed as well for extra bit of seaweed flavor. I think it needs another tablespoon of water. So that is looking good now. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sesame toasted sesame seeds. And I'm gonna leave a little bit for sprinkling at the top here as well. But I'm gonna mix the rest in, into my sauce. And it's important to toast them beforehand for that um, nice kind of roasted sesame flavor because we're not adding sesame seed oil, we're just adding sesame seeds. That's why it's important to um, roast them beforehand. It's been over 20 minutes as, and, and as you can see, the seaweed has actually uh, rehydrated so I'm gonna just pour the water out um, and it's, it's uh, worth keeping this water as well because you can use this to make um, vegan salmon from um, carrots and I'll show you um, a recipe I'll link your recipe once it's up or you could make, um, say, fish and chips by marinating either your jackfruit or um, banana blossom flour in this water with a bit of, you know, kind of saltiness um, and that will give it fishy taste. So yeah, so this is good uh, water to make kind of anything taste fishy. Um, and then this, will be our salads. I'm gonna pour all of the uh, all of the dressing into this and give it a good mix. So this will be even nicer once it sits in this kind of sauce and marinade for a little while. 
So yeah, so quite a bit of sauce. So you could probably, that amount of sauce, you could probably um, do with double the amount of seaweed. I only had about 10 grams. You could put like about 25 grams or more even, because that's quite a lot of sauce for that amount of seaweed. That's probably not enough seaweed actually. Um, yeah, so this is the um, finished salad. I'm gonna put it in a smaller bowl and we're gonna taste test it. And now to taste testing. So let's give it a go. Mmm, so nice. The beauty of making your own seaweed salad is that you can avoid oil. Normally they add sesame oil, sesame seed oil, um, which we kind of replaced with a little bit of um, either tahini or um, nut uh, butter to give that little bit of kind of fattiness, but um, oh, the flavors are lovely. Mm. It's got, you know, you can taste the sesame seeds kind of coming through with their roasted flavor. Um, a bit of sweetness, a bit of sourness from the mixtures of, you know, what we mixed in the sauce, the umami, the kind of seaweed flavor, you know, that, um, um, sea flavor so yeah so this is really a delicious salad if you try it let me know what you think if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you're new here welcome to the channel and subscribe for uh, more videos on Wednesdays and Sundays and as always remember food is fuel so be mindful of what you put in the body until next time